Nigerians should condemn Atiku for humiliating his friend and benefactor. President CCs. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. I feel like laughing out my lungs right now. <laughs> when he was going through the back door, he did not the, he did not remember that the people he was running streets were his friends and you know that his benefit. How did they how did they speak it now? Before I speak to Moritan, you lose in detail, please. Temitokwe Ajayi, Senior Special Assistant to President Bola Turimbon Media, says the question of whether or not the Nigeria leader graduated from Chicago State University, CSU, in the United States is irrelevant and cannot compare to the humiliation his principal has suffered due to the controversy. For approaching the foreign court for an order directing discovery of Mr. Tenenbaum's CSU records in faraway America, the presidential aide said, Atiku Abubakar demonstrated a behavior synonymous with biting the hands that once fed him, all in his pursuit of earthly possession. All in his pursuit of earthly position. For me, the issue is not whether President Tenenbaum graduated from the Chicago State University or not. Mr. Jai wrote on X Tuesday evening. It is the fact that former Vice President Atiku is not a decent man. Nobody should subject his or friend to the level of assault and indignity he has subjected President Turembu to because of earthly position and contestation for power, Mr. Jai added. The presidential aide recounted instances where Mr. Turembu reportedly moved mountains for Tiku in the past and shot at him when he was thoroughly beaten by rain and stripped naked by President Olusego Basenjo and his party PDP in 2007. Olusego Basenjo was Nigeria's president between 1999 and 2006, and Mr. Atbubaka served as his vice. But both men later fall after Mr. Basenjo claimed Mr. Abubakar was disloyal. No friend should become what AKT people call Aleni Modeni, a relentless pursuer like former Vice President Atiku, regardless of the prize. Mr. Jai wrote in his angry tirade against the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate. Mr. Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party candidate, came second with 6.9 million votes in the February 25th elections that produced Mr. Tunumbu as winner. The former vice president had firstly challenged the outcome of the presidential polls at the election petitions tribunal where his petitions were dismissed last month. But in his determination to nullify Mr. Tunumbu's election victory, Mr. Mr. Abubakar approached the U.S. court for the Northern District of Illinois for an order mandating that the Chicago State University to provide him with the president's educational records citing Section 1782 of United States law, which allows it to turn over relevant documents for use in a foreign proceeding. Judge Nancy Maldonado on Saturday overruled Mr. Tenenbaum's objections and ordered that the Chicago State University hand over the sort of records to Mr. Abubakar and have the corporate staff make a deposition authenticating the records. Now, like I was saying, I am trying so hard not to laugh my lungs out. You know why? <laughs> I'm here saying, eh? So he was not his friend. You know, be my friend when you the wrong me streets. Eh? You know, be my friend when you the wrong me streets. But now I am trying to do, permit me to use the word the right thing. Do you see, I could carry on for back, but that is not the bone of contention. Had it been Tunubu's handy street, he has come out and he has no skeleton in his cupboard. If they do this thing, he will just be very less concerned. But because Shubo, his hand is soiled. That is why this is happening. Had it been that he actually came in through the right procedure, you know, it is crystal clear. Nigerians are not doubting <clears throat> this. Nigerians are not doubting it and saying, oh, 
this particular uh, what's it called this man or no, lie you people no vote from you know there is nothing people are actually sure that i oh, know people voted for this man now this man nine people vote for now him they carry the position give are we going to be where we are today if you want to come to the you want to come as in come to court come with clean hands eh make sure your hands are what clean this is like you are carrying a log of food in your two eyes. One log, one heavy log here, another one log here. And then you are going to say, <laughs> with the small one where they see, they say, let me remove the splinter. Uh, make I wait, make I come out the splinter. Now you are not saying that Tiko is disgracing. Eh? Had it been you did the right thing, would it be disgraced? Would it be assault? No. As as you as I think they do your own thing, it is not going to be getting to you. Why your own mind go reach ground? See, ah, I no go do anything. They can go if you go, you no go see anything. You are coming to say for those who are coming out who are going to take this narrative. I am sorry to say, oh, God's supposed to be putting such people, you know, at this as in they're supposed to day different. Why? Now you not keep your cupboard clean. Now you eat carry meats, we get flesh. I mean, you carry bone where we say get flesh. No be one, no be two. Go put inside cupboard. You can't do the smell for the whole ass. Now you can't come. Somebody can't come. Come open that drawer. The smell can't increase. You don't. You don't leave that in there for the smell. Can't, my God, don't fool every as in everywhere. You can't the blame person way open now. Now person way open now. I go blame. I mean, a person will be say he carry the bone. Will be say meat still there inside, even with bone. It's supposed to be inside cupboard. That be supposed to be inside those bin. You cannot put inside cupboard. You see, I'm saying, no make sense. That is exactly what you are saying. Anytime you come outside, you say, eh, that's eh. Yeah, it is actually a disgrace. If it is a disgrace, keep your cupboard clean. Have integrity. Let your words and your actions do what. Let them harmonize. Can you imagine these people? It's the same payback of gratitude that caused the enslavement of a legal political entity. Pledging loyalty to this criminal. Ha uh ah, -uh. calm down no, calm down. Cause never did uh, talk on this matter. Became the ground norm. That is the same reason why Prof. Yemi Sibanje was declared a personal non grata because he dared to contest the same position as his supported master. You guys are all slaves, my dear. Hmm. On this matter, I don't hear things and things. My ear don't fool. In fact, at this point, I don't want to hear again. All I'm waiting for is make we even hear what the Supreme Court could talk because now we don't they give people don't they dish out their own judgment. Now, waiting tribunal go talk. Now they put here for ground. They wait for. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy. <laughs>